Okay, okay. Let's hop into sagebrush, shall we? Still disappointed you're not gold. I would have nicked that. Solid gold toilet. Very dark. Oh, 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 typewriter. Just the old typewriter. The yellowing, sh yellowing sheet of paper in the carriage. Oh yeah, I have a flashlight. Whoops. No. The hell? Why is there a camera? Camcorder with the bed. You hit the eject button, find the VHF tape inside. I don't want to watch that. A bed covered in red satin sheets. Pillows of steel. Did I walk into an adult movie room? We have all been given our purposes by the Lord. And if we listen close enough to our hearts, if we pray hard enough, we can feel that purpose coursing through us. To excel in our God-given purpose is its own form of cleansing. Some of us are called to labor in the fields, to feed the flock. Some are called to train and to defend us. Others to teach our children the true way of things. And from what? The Lord calls upon many women to provide succor and relief. Now those of you with husbands may be rightly confused. Is this not a sin? I ask you, do you not love the Lord more than your husband? Would you deny the Lord himself your love? I am his flag bearer. Nope. I don't think you are, buddy. You're just a weirdo with a camera. Trailer Master Key. My sweet, sweet beauty, I have a very important task for you. There is a deceiver among us, a lying snake who intends to bring ruin upon my flock. This is a test. We must prove our faith by removing this cancer. The deceiver will never reveal himself to me, but he might to you. I would ask that you use your feminine charms to get close to the men in the flock. Specifically, I am worried about Andrew, Leonard, and Peyton. Get them to open up to you. If they have nothing to hide, they will be forgiven before Christ. Find the deceiver so that we may strike him from this world and prove our dedication to our Lord. Do this for me, for the flock, and for Christ. Father. Yeah, strike him from this world. They're definitely going to kill someone. A large flat pedestal, rather like an altar, stands at the foot of the bed. The world is a wicked place, and redemption can only be found through Christ. This is the truth, and though it was known to the Lord's flock, they did not heed the word. The Lord Christ descended in final judgment some 1,000 years ago. As foretold in scripture, among man he found not one true believer. The angels wept, but the covenant was kept as it must be. None were given eternal life at the feet of the Father, and men were left to fester in their own sin. For two hundred generations man has desecrated the earth. Given unto them, they have murdered each other. Known still sinful women and lusted after false gods, they do not deserve to be saved. Yeah, it's a doom cult. Wonderful. As we all know, sin is our, in our debt. Sin is our debt and pain is our currency. It is by paying with pain that we cleanse ourselves and become ready for the days of reckoning. Our renewed teachings have been bestowed on me by the angel Sariel in a vision. The doctrine of alternative cleansing has been revealed. As we know, sin is the intersection of unclean vectors. But if one is fully cleansed, how can sin come from that act? 
In fact, the opposite is true. The act becomes the godly one. To know deeply a truly cleansed body is to be cleansed one's self. That is, to lie with one who is fully cleansed is to bypass the need for blood cleansing. Now, this applies to all cleansed bodies, but, and I do not say this to boast, as of now, I am, only I am fully cleansed. Father. Now you cannot, buddy. An angel walks through an empty field, his hands pressed together in prayer. Of course, it's a red light. Uh, of course. Why didn't I see that one coming? Painting depicting Christ's body being removed from the cross at Golgotha. That's not this that's the same picture as the one too dark to make out much detail the painting shows an intensely focused middle-aged man he holds a book in his left yeah we saw you already bob beyond these doors is a sacred space only fully cleansed believers who have been given express permission by father james may enter the lord protects this room trespassers will suffer mightily Hmm. Well, it is dark now, buddy. Can I have a flash? Okay, yeah, the entrance. Yeah, generator. Sure. Yeah, nothing. Lights are still on. Good, 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 good. I just had an idea. I can check each one by turning on the lights inside. a light switch in one of them. There's probably one of the others. Or not. Okay. okay so Master Key. Okay. Come on, buddy. Master key should open most things, right? You unlock the door using the trailer master key. Alcohol. Cereal. Thou shalt not kill, but it's not that simple, is it? We are God's army. We must protect our flock. This is a war with souls on the line. We must be resolute, unwavering. So why won't my hand stop shaking? Why do I keep seeing his face when I close my eyes? Somehow, I didn't think fighting for the Lord would mean beating an armed man, an armed man to death with a shovel. Lord, why won't my hand stop shaking? Leonard. Oh, the bolt cutters are probably for the, uh... Locked place, Peyton. Leo. It's got to be him, I'm certain. He hasn't talked yet, but I have no doubt. Scrounge around his trailer and see if you find any leverage. We busted the lock, grabbing him last night, so you'll have to use your bolt cutters to get in. Henry. The deceiver changed Father James, though only a few of us seemed to notice. He had new revelations almost daily. Doctrines changed, 
Actions that would have been terrible sins previously were suddenly permissible, while seemingly innocent behaviors became mortal sins. The others seemed to have no problem going along with it. I wondered if something was wrong with me. No. Father grew visibly agitated, and as adamant as he was about the sanctity of his new revelations, something was different. He was scared, and that scared me. He was insane. Is what you mean? Josiah, no. Nope. I was trying to do this tactically, but I kind of forgot where I was going. Is that locked? No, it's not locked. Rusted shot, rusted shot, rusted shot. Most of it is rusted. Oh, rusted too! Andrews. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, Viola's thing. Got it. Got it. You are not the one I was looking for. The one I couldn't find before. Lillian. Master key doesn't seem to work on this door. Strange. Oh. It's in there. Lights or sunflowers. Okay. Interesting. So she has a specialized lock on the door. So where is Peyton? It was one of the front ones, right? Aha! Hey, you Peyton. You clip the chains which fall limply onto the side. The door hangs slightly ajar. That is a bloody shovel. Father James Israel born Donald McKittrick. Born Idaho, early 50s. Unclear. Vietnam vet honorably discharged 1970 due to shrapnel injury. Born again in late 70s. Criminal record includes larceny, drug possession, and vagrancy. Married to Anne McKittrick. Signs of amphetamine addiction. Receives visions from an angel named Sariel starting in 1986. Left former church and found a perfect heaven. With wife. Purchased Black Sage Ranch in 1991. Anne McKittrick, Israel. Born Oregon. Not much known. Worked as secretary for a heating and cooling company for years. Met Donald James through church. Married 1981. Complete loyalty to husband. Primary recruiter for group. Andrew Custer. Born, recruited in Houston. Owned a small farm. Runs a farm for group. Frequently writes to his brother in El Paso. Viola DeWitt. De Mid-30s from Albuquerque. Two children, Juliet, 11, Lucas, 9. Recently divorced from her husband, claims frequent abuse. Frequent consort of Father James. 
but his wife doesn't like that. Leonard Van, Leonard Van Der Hoof, late 20s, for a police officer, National Guard, military training, discharged due to drug addiction. James promised to help him get clean. Seems to have worked for a little while. Access to weapons, trains group members in arms and tactics. Often has alcohol in his breath. Relapse? Dangerous. Lillian Carter, early 20s, born in San Diego, 1972. Recent college graduate, some useless degree, depressed. Trouble finding a job, often goes to rectory for alternative cleansing with other women. Seems to have more doubts than some others. Reach out to her. I changed my lock like you suggested. I left a copy of the new key under the tree near the fire pit. Transmit code XV768. Encryption code 30686. Compromise. Need. Do not wreck frontal rear. Armed mill grades. HW plus training. Most are 100% bought in. Will use violence. <laughs> I know where to bring this. Find it already. Though I can't really see it. It's the bloody door that scares me. Hello. Not a flashing buddy. Hmm. Oh. Seven second base. Second base and launch a small baseball bat. I don't What was that? Is that a loading glitch or was that an actual thing moving? Okay. Great. I love going crazy. Fire pit somewhere to the side of this. Oh wait, it was near a tree, right? This way? Dig into the mountain, sift through the loose dirt, finding a small brass key inside. He dug up the key, there's nothing left here but dirt. There. Back to Lillian. Light is huge. Julia, no. Lillian's over here. You locked the door with the brass key. Hello, Lily. What do we got here? Flowers. Okay. Cleansing room. Okay. Are you in a cult? It's a scary question, but an important one. Spiritual fulfillment and community involvement are important aspects of a healthy life, but it's possible for these to take deeply unhealthy and even dangerous forms. If you're reading this, someone who cares about you is concerned about your well-being. The group displays excessively zealous and unquestioning commitment to its leader, and, whether he is alive or dead, regards his belief system, ideology, and practices as the truth, as law. 
questioning, doubt and dissent are discouraged or even punished. Mind-altering practices such as meditation, chanting, speaking in tongues, denunciation sessions, and debilitating work routines are used in excess and serve to suppress doubts about the group and its leader. The leadership dictates sometimes in great detail how members should think, act and feel. For example, members must get permission. Sorry about that. Had a uh, conversation today. Uh, where, were we? where were we? Must get permission to date, exchange jobs, marry, or leaders prescribe what types of clothes to wear, where to live, whether or not they have children, how to discipline children, and so forth. The group is elitist, claiming a special, exalted status for itself. Its leader and members, for example, leaders considered the Messiah, a special being, an avatar, or the group or the group and or the leaders on a special mission to save humanity. <laughs> the group has polarized us versus them mentality, which may cause conflict with the wider society. The leader is not accountable for to any authorities. The group teaches or implies that its supposedly exalted ends justify whatever means it deems necessary. This may result in members participating in behaviors or activities they would have considered reprehensible or unethical before join the group. For example, lying to family or friends, or collecting money for bogus charities, or committing murder with a shovel, you know, everyday occurrences. Leadership induces feelings of shame and or guilt in order to influence and control members. Often this is done through peer pressure and subtle forms of persuasion. Subservience to the leader or group requires members to cut ties with family and friends and ra radically alter the personal goals and activities they had before joining the group. The group is preoccupied with bringing in new members. The group is preoccupied with making money. Members are expected to devote inordinate amounts of time to the group and group-related activities. Members are encouraged or required to live and or socialize only with other group members. The most loyal members there can be f feel there can be no life outside the context of the group. They believe there is no other way to be and often fear reprisals to themselves or others if they leave or even consider leaving the group. If one or more of these are true for your group, it may not be a healthy community, but don't worry, help is available. Come on, buddy. I know you're beginning to doubt. And you're right to do so. Father James is not what he says he is. If you want to talk more, hang around after evening prayer. I'll linger, linger too, so I can help. You're not alone. I'm putting my trust in you for this. There's a lot of notes. How can the absolute truth change so rapidly? First, the doctrine of cleansing, which was immutable and unavoidable, 
cane as currency, etc., etc., than the doctorate of alternate cleansing, which seemed to change the rules against extramarital sex and polygamy, but only in the service of a clean body. My father James has received another revelation, which he pronounced privately only to a few of us women. It's not written down and hasn't been added to the Book of Saria, and it directly contradicts previous doctrines. Father says that the Lord has brought a deceiver into our midst in order to test the strength of our faith. We must be ready to prove our dedication to the flock, and like Abraham with his son Isaac, we must be ready to sacrifice our, sacrifice our notion of what is moral in order to serve the greater cause. Is this God's plan for us? To use our bodies as tools? Why doesn't this feel right? Lillian, forgive me if I'm speaking too clearly, but I care deeply about you, and I worry that you're having doubts about the Father and his teachings. You're young, Lily. I understand where you're coming from, believe me, but as someone with a lot more experience, let me tell you that you have nothing to doubt. Father James is a prophet of the Lord. He speaks a true word. If you need proof, just look at his prophecies that have come true. But more than that, if you pray and listen quietly, you will feel in your very soul the truth of his teachings. I'm here for you if you need to talk. Yours in Christ's love, Viola. Lillian, a member of the flock who will not be named, happened upon one of the books you purchased while on a trip into town. While reading non-church materials is not strictly prohibited, I must caution you against consuming too much. If any secular material, the godless worldview is par powerfully poisonous, with its promises of pleasure without consequences and freedom from rules. But there... But here you know true freedom, freedom from sin, freedom from damnation, and the true pleasure of God's love. Consider it, consider this a friendly warning. I want the best for you, my sister. If it becomes clear that your reading is compromising your faith, we may have to change the rules in order to protect you as well as the rest of the flock. Father. He risked his life coming to me. Somehow he could tell that I was wavering. I'm still not sure how. He was from the FBI, he said, and he was here to investigate the group as a cult. When he said that word, I told him to go to hell. I almost went right to Father James, but I didn't. He left me a pamphlet that talked about the signs of a dangerous cult. At first, I refused to read it. What was the point? How could that have anything to do with our group? But I did read it, and even though my entire brain was screaming at me, I went back to him. Well, I was saying this from like the first area. Like as soon as you read the first few pages in the hall, the meth hall, it's obvious this place is a cult. Absolutely obvious. Oh, that's funny. The cleansing room, right beside the farm. Okay, so I gotta rush this way now. Is it brighter now than it was before? It feels brighter. Cleansing room. Is that the no, that's the chapel. Cleansing room's over here somewhere. The barn. That is. Oh, wait. Cleansing room is the barn? Okay. Yay! Maggot door! I'm going to leave this one here. Next time we have a look in there. Oh. Bloody seeped out from under the door and soaked into the dirt. Flies still swarm the area. Oh. Hope you had fun. <laughs>